everybody, this is Mike on the Michael W. Hall channel. As usual, as always, if you like what you see on this channel, please do like and subscribe and hit the bell and you'll be notified of new videos coming out. Well, today I'm going to do a short theory lesson as tis the season for prepping for RCM exams. But just some basic ideas. Uh, this could apply to most, most any level, but really dealing with intervals and chords from level seven and up. So we have talked a great deal out of about how the form chords are the major third, minor third, and now we're getting into augmented and diminished a little bit. So on the guitar, simple way to play uh, triad, major triad, we'll take an A, C sharp, and an E, root third fifth. Now, of course, the root is A, the third is a C sharp, which is a major third up from the root A. A minor third from C sharp, the third to the fifth, is the third note of the triad. So we have now a perfect fifth from the root to the fifth. There's the major chord. Now, to get an augmented chord, you, that's derived from the major. All we do is raise the fifth. So we have an augmented fifth. So now we have A major and A augmented by making the E sharp. Notice I didn't say F because it's a raised fifth. There's the A augmented triad. Now, um, with a minor triad, of course, we have a root, we'll just take a G, root, and then the minor third up from G is B flat. So root, third, and then a major third from the third is the fifth. So that's the uh, D. We have a G, B flat, and a D. Now what defines that chord as a minor triad is the root to the third being a minor third. So we can play a G minor chord like root, third, and fifth. You can bar that or you can play A minor, two, one, and zero. That's an A minor chord. Now, uh, let's make a diminished chord out of the minor triad. We can do that by taking the D flat, or D, and making it D flat. So now we have G, B flat, and D flat. All of the intervals in a diminished triad are minor thirds, all of them. And then if we make that a diminished seventh chord, a fully diminished seventh, we add another minor third, which is F flat. Notice I didn't say E because it's a third. We have G, B flat, D flat, F flat. That's a diminished seventh chord. And then let's do the dominant. The dominant chord is a major triad plus a minor seven from the root. It's not major seven. Major seven would actually be part of a major scale, but we're talking about a dominant chord. The five chord of C major is G7. That's your uh, root quality chord. The functional chord is the five chord. So we have G, B, D. There's a major chord. Add a minor seven on top. So these are all in root position. So again, on the test, you want to distinguish between a major triad, a minor triad, a diminished seventh chord, and the dominant seventh chord. And we have also the um, augmented triad, which is root, third, which is a major third. This is a major triad with a raised fifth, or an augmented fifth. So that's the short lesson for today. Much more to come. Uh, I believe I'm in need of a serious live stream, because there are a lot of free-flowing ideas we want to have. Uh, even without, with or without comments, it would be easy just to have that. <clears throat> and um, just get the stream of consciousness, live stream of consciousness, concepts out there 
like we do in lessons and we can follow up. So thanks everybody for listening. Talk to you soon.